I heard there's a new 33609 going on. We have a what we're calling the MK609. Okay. And uh, this is the old first revision, which, you know, we're, we think that would be great to bring back. With the, you know, there's some great revisions out there right now, but the original metal knob was something that a lot of people really want, especially, you know, classic quintessential diode compressor. So, it, you know, we get a ton of requests. We've got a ton of requests for us to do this. So, yeah, we're looking at uh, launching that around summertime. Okay, amazing. And I got to ask, you know, and I know it's only like this because it's going to be faithful to the original, but the originals with the metal knobs I've always noticed to be just a tad bit noisier. Um, yeah, I guess they, they, they are a little bit noisier. I mean, ours actually isn't that bad. Like, we have an original uh, metal knob okay. that we use. And you know, this, the noise specs are pretty much identical on this to that one. Okay. We used as our god model. The one we have is a, a metal knob uh, that we got actually uh, from Earl in New Zealand years ago. We, it took us years because there's like no schematics or anything like that. So we completely reverse engineered the original, like, you know, old design, mm -hmm. you know, yep. uh, the circuit board and all that as far as, you know, the, the layout is, is just, it's just a whole different beast. So, and we also added some tasteful options as well. Well, what what you go ahead and add to it that, you know? We added a variable attack time. Okay. Um, which is something different that you don't see. And then we also added two simple side chain high pass values. Okay. Well, what, where are those at? Uh, those are those toggles. No, 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 no. What are the values? Are they at 90, 120? Um, I believe it's uh, 120 and it might be 60. Okay. Yeah. Great I'm points. Um, that that's awesome. Where, where, did you find that there were any things that were hard for you to source for building something like this? So there was a dual FET they used back then that was obsolete, and that finding those has uh, been been challenging. Um, I have a particular preference with the diodes that are used in our original ones. Yes, we can still get the diodes for these, but uh, they're, they're they're different, and I have a particular type that's a little bit harder to source. Okay. As well, that, that sort of gets that sound. Yes. You know? And, you know, even some of the things that are cosmetic on this, which is super hard, like, I I, I actually found the same, they, they had a couple, like, different, like, power switches and lights they used, but I found the exact same ones that were on our original. Okay. Even the power switch is locking like that, and then the bulb. No, 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 that, that's wonder. I mean, I'm, I'm loving these knobs. So did you manufacture these knobs we yourself? To, we had to have them custom molded. Yes. So, you know, one thing that I always loved reading about was Jeff Tanner made a post about these knobs at one point and really was talking about the 53 series and, you know, the other consoles that use that same knob. But he said that the tops of these knobs were actually punched in the factory with a plastic punch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was... That was one aspect of the knob we weren't looking to recreate. <laughs> yes, definitely. yes. So, I mean, it looks absolutely incredible. You know, I wouldn't expect anything less. This is our announcement too. Yeah, the front panel might be a little darker on the production model, not that much darker. Uh -huh. so we're gonna want to contrast the knobs with the front panel, but we're, this is a great first look and announcement for a product that's coming, you know, four to six months from now. Are you, so, are you still gonna use this case layout even if you darken it up a little bit? I love the case layout. It's, oh, yeah. it's, it's beautiful, man. Yes. Yeah, uh, so, what are you looking at as far as the cost goes on that? Uh, we're looking to be around a little under two, two grand, so nineteen ninety nine. Okay, we're gonna party. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, man. I can't wait to hear it. Um, how's the ACA been doing for you? Oh, this thing is. This is too much fun. This this product right here. It's, I, I still want to pick one up. I remember when we spoke last year. You said that they were going to be pretty limited edition. Where, I mean, do I got to get in there now because they're selling out quick? They're going to be, yeah, they're going to be crazy. It's going to be, a, you know, anytime we do a new product, it's a little bit of a bum rush a little bit, but mm -hmm. it, that's fine. That's to be expected. And luckily, our supporters, they understand that and everyone's been cool. Uh, but this, you know, as I think in a lot of circles, it's been regarded as kind of a one trick pony. Oh, yeah. And with these options that we've had. It's so versatile now. It's oh. so much fun. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the attack and release alone oh, opens alone. the whole thing. Yeah, totally. It's, it's a whole different compressor if you can speed up that release. So this guy, is it on the market currently? It's uh, We're looking at in, in a week or two of doing the first drop on these. We oh. announced he said the last NAM. And it's, NAM, it's yes. It's about to be game on. Okay, so I've been waiting. So it's about to be, how do I put in my order right now? How much? 
So these are gonna be uh, twenty nine ninety nine. Okay. And uh, they're just it's just a beastly. It's got all nine original tubes, oh. like the original these black metal tubes from like the forties and fifties. I want this. <laughs> it's it's really too much fun. And having actually like the threshold control is a big deal. Yeah. Um, even the plugins you see, you don't even see the negative feedback switch that we added. Like that's so so much uh it has so much character when you click when you reduce the negative feedback and engage that switch so you know i typically love the, the ba6a on things like uh bass and lead vocals where are, you know are you loving this thing on drums not that you can open up that attack a little yep. bit drums this is it becomes a much more general purpose compressor and uh also we added the stereo link jack on the back so if you get a pair of them you can link them up strap them across the bus stereo bus and um, the threshold control is, it's, to, I mean, it really makes it a lot more useful. You can oh, see. yeah. And all the stock values, though, are printed on the legend, albeit a little small, but you can still see them. Yeah. You can still see that this is around stock on threshold, this is stock on the attack, and that's stock on the release. Yes. So that's um, something that's uh, very, so if you want that traditional 6A sound, you can still get it. Okay, well, I definitely am going to try and get an order in on this guy. And how many of them do you think that you're going to end up making? That remains to be seen. I'm going to, we're, you know, we have a huge stockpile of tubes, but uh, the matching on the, the tubes that cre create the compression, the Success K7s, are a little difficult. So we'll see where we land. I'm not committing to a number just yet, uh -huh. but we're going to, we're going to go hard. Okay. You know, we're going to go hard and make as many as we can. Okay, that's amazing. I hope to start seeing these pop up all over the place. Yeah, well, they're, yeah they're, they're so much fun. Thank you so much, Chris, and we'll, yeah, we'll definitely be seeing you before the weekend's over. Oh, yeah. Awesome.